kind of looks wobbly. See that? Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So I'm just having a problem with my front G60 hub motor. And what's happening is like the wheel, when it's freewheeling, like the wheel can roll fine. But when you actually give it throttle and you give the motor power, something inside the motor is like making the scraping noise. And so right now I have my bike in the stand, the back wheel is up, front wheel is on the ground. I'm going to try and pick up this front wheel. Let's turn the bike on first. I want to show you what this sounds like. So I'm going to pick up, I'm going to pick up this front wheel and lift the front wheel off the ground. Now listen. You hear that? I think I bent the brake rotor a little bit and the brake rotor is scraping. That's what you hear right now. Ooh. But yeah, it was like, it might be hard to isolate the noise because there's two motors. But anyways, so I gotta take this wheel off of the bike. So here's the wheel. I've got a three millimeter Allen. We're gonna get all these bolts off of the, the cover of the motor. And then we can pop the motor out of the hub shell. All right, so we got the six bolts out of the motor cover. So now I'm gonna hold the, hold the wire like this. And then we've got like this little plastic thing and now we should be able to just pull this motor out of the hub shell See, there it is and there's a whole bunch of fresh grease in there that I just put in yes the other day when I was looking at this so what I'm gonna do now is we're gonna take this cover off of here so you kind of hold the wire down and then you can pull this thing off like this okay so here Here's kind of the inside of the motor. And so I'm going to go put this thing at the table and we can look at it there. All right, so here's the motor. Uh, so first, I already know we got to take this thing apart even further. We got to get we got to get this clutch assembly off of here. So that's this piece that has the, the nylon gears. And the nylon gears, I just greased them up the other day. They're spinning just fine. I would like to keep that grease on there because it's fresh grease. So what I usually do to get this off is I get my Allens. I get the two big ones and then... I just kind of bring them in here like this from opposite sides and then use some leverage to kind of pop the clutch assembly up. When you, when you first do this the first time, it might take a little bit of force to get that thing popped off of there, but then after that, it's usually a little bit easier. So here is the clutch assembly. It's all greased up. I'm going to leave that on there and just kind of set it aside somewhere where it's not going to grease everything up. So we'll just put that over there. So now the next step is we got to take this little 
see this little clutch key this is what the clutch assembly bites onto and it's just this little piece of metal and it's kind of got some grease in there right now it's kind of stuck in there with grease suction let's see if i can get this thing out of there just use a oh let's just use the pliers and oh man i was really stuck in there so it's just this little piece of metal that goes in there I forget what those are called, a Woodrow key or something. Is that what it's called? But you don't want to lose that because that's what makes the clutch grab onto the axle and the clutch assembly. So then we've got this little, there's this little clip on here and it doesn't have any snap ring pliers holes. You just got to stick, stick in a, pliers and then just kind of grab onto it and then leverage it off like that so that's what that looks like this little clip so we're going to set that aside so we don't lose it and then so what that clip does is it holds this little metal piece kind of where it needs to be prevents any of this from moving around on the axle so now we have to get a screwdriver and get these three screws out of this metal piece right here so i'm gonna go get my uh let's see what kind of screwdrivers do i have i gotta go get a phillips okay now this piece should come out like this all right so here's here's this piece and then you can see it's got a little recess in here below it. And there's a snap ring right here. And this snap ring, this snap ring kind of holds the rotor onto the axle, right? So the rotor can't like move it this way at all because this snap ring is right here and then there's there's another one uh this one's actually not a snap ring on this side or yeah it is so there's a snap ring over on this side too all right so this snap ring holds it from this side and then there's this snap ring right here that holds it from this side so we got to get this snap ring off of here with the snap ring pliers. I'm getting better at this. There it comes. Make sure you don't launch it across the garage accidentally. Okay, so now that we got that snap ring off of here, we should be able to pull the rotor off, right? But first I want to show you what's going on, right? So if you look here, like look, let's see here. So look over on this side at the gap in between the magnets. So there's a pretty significant gap in between the magnets on this side. Like if you could see in between these magnets here, in between the rotor and the stator. But then if I go over onto this side, uh, it's like the magnets are touching. Like at a certain spot, they're kind of like touching. And then, so if I try and rotate, if I try and rotate the rotor, it's like, it won't spin. Like this thing should spin. And it, it's, it kind of spins like, okay, so here we go. Watch. So it's scraping right here. Like I can see the magnets They're They're scraping like right here and it's hard. It's hard to twist it. So it's, there's like some resistance and then I twist it and then it'll spin a little bit. And then there's some more resistance. So it's like, And then when, so what I was doing the other day is I was going like this and then I was trying to spin this, this rotor around, 
but it's like it just won't go. And the other day when I was spinning it, I, I could spin it a little bit better. And it was it was kind of like wobbling. So what we're going to have to do to get this rotor off is use the gear puller because all of these magnets are really stuck together and you're not going to be able like you you can kind of like watch you can kind of oh, like see how it's kind of coming out but it just it just pulls itself back in there and it's really strong these magnets so you need a gear puller so what I do with this is I get the gear puller kind of like lined up with the axle and then I get the arms of the gear puller where I want them and then I hold the gear puller straight kind of with the axle and I loosen it up until the arms start to go underneath. Like this. Okay, so I've got all the arms underneath. I'm gonna start tightening it just till it feels kind of tight and I'm gonna flip it over. Okay, so now we're looking down at the gear puller, but you don't want the gear puller, you just want the gear puller pulling on this outside. So like right here, I wanna make sure that this gear puller is just, oh my God, the whole thing came off. Okay, get this leg coming right there. And then as soon as you've made sure that your gear puller is only pulling on the outside and all of your all the arms are where you want them, you can start tightening it a little bit more. Okay. All right. So you can see here, I've got the gear puller in here and it's just on the edge. It's not touching the inner part that's sliding out because you're gonna break something, right? So just make sure that these gear puller fingers, the jaws, they're just along the edge of the rotor and they're not blocking the motor core from coming out like that, see? So now that we've got our gear puller hooked on there how we want it, we can just keep tightening it and we'll keep pulling. So like to tighten it, it's just this big thing on the end. You can use a wrench if you need to, but I just hold on to it with one hand and twist it with the other hand and it it's easy enough to do it this way. So if you're twisting the gear puller and it's hard, uh, it's probably because one of the jaws is like, is catching on to the inside and I would it should be pretty easy when you're using the gear, a big gear puller to pull this thing out. So we're just gonna keep going. As you can see down here, the motor is coming out of the bottom. So I'm getting this, this rotor, this big shell, this big metal shell is the rotor and we're getting this pulled up off of the motor. Okay, now at some point it might come a little bit loose, but then just kind of like keep going because it's not quite off of there yet. It might feel loose, but just keep twisting. <sighs> you don't want to get your fingers uh, in between there because if those magnets pull all of this stuff together, like it could really hurt your fingers. So be careful of that. I'm still twisting, twisting, twisting. And now, okay, so now it feels really loose. And you can see I've almost pulled the rotor all the way off the axle there. It's getting down to the part with the threads. So at this point, it feels pretty loose, like I could probably just pull it. Oh, there it comes. All right. So let's take a look at this. All right, so what I think the problem is, is 
one of these bearings, either this one or this one that's in the rotor that the axle goes through is not good. And the reason that I think that I'm going to get this, I'm going to get this rotor back on there just till the end. And then, so if I spin this thing, let's get it. So if I spin the rotor, it kind of looks wobbly. See that? See that? How the rotor is like... Seems a little bit wobbly, right? My GoPro is overheating. So, that's great. But yeah, so it's like, it's like this thing is wobbling. And I think it's these, I think it's one of these bearings. I think it might be this one right here, the smaller one. Because I think if that bearing... If that bearing on the outside is bad, it would cause, I think it would cause it to wobble more on this far end, you know? And that's kind of the smaller bearing that would probably be easier to break. So I have a feeling it's this one right here. It feels okay. Like when I, when I spin it with my finger, it feels really smooth. Like I can't, I can't really, like visually tell that anything is wrong with this but something's definitely wrong with something here so I'm hoping it's one of these bearings this one on the inside feels really smooth too so I don't know actually when I put my finger in this one and I kind of like put some force on it and I'm spinning it like I can kind of kind of feel something inside of it doesn't feel exactly smooth so I think the first thing I'm gonna do is try and I got some cheap bearings from Amazon to try out here so let's take a look at this they come 10 in a pack and they're about a dollar each so you get about 10 of them for maybe like eleven dollars or something is what it was and it says 6902RS, right? So I believe that this is what I would want for this. I mean, it seems identical. And it actually feels, it actually feels pretty much the same too. Um, it's kind of weird guys, I'm pretty sure this bearing is bad and there's something wrong with it, but like... I can kind of feel something funny I guess, if, like if I'm kind of like trying to pull on the bearing and like... And then twist it with kind of like a weird... So here you can kind of see there there were some new scrape marks that were happening right here right here right here right here right here these other bigger scrape marks are from the last time that i fixed the motor the motor it was the magnets were scraping too so there's some new ones so it seems like the scraping is happening along kind of like the outer edge of this Right, and there's kind of like chunks of magnet that we're going to have to clean off of there. But, so I want to get this bearing out. And I don't have like a bearing puller or a bearing press or any of that. So we're just going to get it out somehow. Um, so let's see here. GoPro, GoPro, hello? Okay, so I've got a towel. And I've got a flathead screwdriver and I'm just gonna put the flathead in the towel and stick it 
I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to stick it down through there with, oh. Oh man, it just, screwdriver just poked a hole through the towel, so that isn't gonna work. I don't really think it matters a whole lot if the bearing gets damaged, but I just wanna try taking it out without damaging it just to see. So now that we've got this funky screwdriver going, let's get this down in there. And uh, probably gonna have to tap on it with a hammer or something. Oh, that actually wasn't hard at all. Okay, so I got that bearing out. Here it is, here's what it looks like on the inside. There's a little bit of grease that got in there, but otherwise, seems okay. Hopefully the camera's getting a good shot of that. Okay, so we can see inside of there where the bearing was. This little guy came out. Oh yeah, and it looks like my uh looks like my screwdriver definitely damaged it. You can see right here where I was knocking it with a screwdriver, it looks like I damaged it. Oh Yep, so when you knock these bearings out with a flathead, it's probably gonna damage them. Oh yeah, and that's not, that feels terrible. It feels absolutely terrible now. So let's see here. It wasn't that hard to get it out, so I'm not really that, I, I don't know if it's gonna be hard to get it in, let's see. So I don't think it matters which way it goes. Uh, let's see here. Can we just... I wonder if we can maybe just, like, tap this in with a mallet a little bit. I gotta get it on more of a hard surface. So I wonder... Let's see. Maybe this one? Seems like it's going in there. Maybe I'll put a little bit of a towel on top of it. Just so, just so it's like, there's a little bit of like shock absorption there and then I can kind of feel where the bearing is, get my flathead on top of it. Slowly but surely, it's going in there. It still feels okay, like it's not breaking or anything. Let's see here. So My GoPro keeps overheating. 
So I just kind of put this piece back on here and then made sure that it was down in there and I just started hammering on it. Let's try, let's try doing this kind of. All right. Uh, it looks like there's maybe just a little bit left to go. Let's see. Let's see if I can knock it in a little bit further just to finish this up here. It looks pretty close. That was easier than I thought it was gonna be. I think it works pretty good to just put this thing on there and then just hammer on this thing. Make sure this thing's flat. Just give it a good knock just to make sure it's in there. Uh, I can't tell if it's all the way in there. Like it's, it's maybe sticking out just like a barely, just like a little. Wow, well, guys, my GoPro is overheating. So I think I got this new bearing in there. It's slightly different than this old one. Like this outer ring, this outer ring on it, the metal looks a little bit thinner on this one than on this one. I can't tell if this one is just, it seems like it's sticking out just barely, like maybe like half a millimeter or something, but I don't know. I think it might be fine. As long as this piece, as long as this piece goes on there, I think when I screw this piece in there, it, sh it should push that bearing in too, because the bottom of this, the outside of it presses that outer ring of the bearing. So I think this piece right here is a pretty good thing to press the bearing in with. But, so what I'm gonna do now, is we got this bearing in there, as good as I can for now. I might slam it in there more with the mallet in a minute, but I wanna put this rotor back on this axle and see if it's still wobbling when I spin it. It is a little bit. Hmm. All right. It does seem like it's still spinning a little bit. So I might, as long as I have this thing apart, I think I'm gonna take this bearing out too because I bought replacements for that bearing as well. 
So as long as I have this thing open, let's let's get one of those bearings out too. And I'll replace that one. This one's a little bit bigger. So it says FKG bearing. And it is individually wrapped in this little package. So that should be a good fit for that one. So we got to bang that one out now. All right, so what I'm gonna do is get the screwdriver going back down in there again. Give it a good whack. Get it going down in there the other way. Okay. All right, so here's the inside of that. Here is the bearing that my screwdriver messed up. All right, here we go. So here you can see inside of these things. Um, All right, so here we got this bearing. I'm gonna get it started in there. <sighs> and we're going to get So I'm going to take this metal piece and put it like this and pound on that again. Okay, so I just pounded this bearing in the same way. I just used this piece that goes right here and I put it on top of the bearing and I just slammed it in there with the mallet. And I think this one went in there nice and flush. So I might come back onto this side and just make sure that this one's pounded in there all the way. All right, so I've got these two bearings replaced. I'm gonna put the axle back through here and just get this on there just so I can see it spinning. I don't know, it still seems a little bit wobbly. Weird. Huh, all right, well there's not a whole lot else I can do. I mean, if this thing is wobbling and it's not these bearings, uh, I'm not sure what would be the problem with this. I mean, it got. All right, guys, so I replaced the bearings on this rotor. We've got the 6002RS and then the 6902RS. And those are all pressed in there. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna get the rotor going back onto the axle here get this kind of going on there a little bit it's still wobbling i 
So I don't know, let's just keep going. I mean, there's not a whole lot we can do other than just like getting this on there. If there's anything wrong still, then I probably need like a whole new rotor or else something is terribly wrong with my stator and I might need a whole new motor. But so let's get this on there. I don't know of a good way to do this. Like it just, it's hard to get it back on there. You gotta be careful because all of a sudden it's just gonna slam down from the power of all those magnets. Ugh. It's getting close. It's almost to the point where it's gonna slam. So I'm just gonna hold it, hold it down here. And then go like this. And this usually does it. Okay, we're almost to the slam part. Man, it's still wobbling, look at this. Oh, that's not good. All right, well, whoo! That was scary. Um, yeah, that didn't seem to fix it. Uh-oh, that's not good. <laughs> oh man, I wonder... <sighs> I think I need a whole new rotor. Because see, it's still doing the same thing. And that didn't fix anything. Still scraping. Dang it. All right. Well, I replaced. All right, well, I'm not sure where to go from here, guys. Let me know what you think. Why Why would this be happening? Like, look at this gap over here between the magnets. And then over on this side, it's just like they're scraping right here. Like, the magnets are scraping. And then on one side... On one side, uh, where the magnets aren't scraping, it's like the stator magnets are, like, coming out of there but then when I spin this thing around the stator is it's flush with the with the rotor shell so it's almost like I don't know it's like either this rotor shell is like warped somehow which I don't entirely understand Or else there's something wrong with the stator. Man, that's weird. All right, well, that's it for now. I don't think there's anything else I can do about this right now. I'm going to have to think about this. I'm just going to post this video, and then I'll see what you guys say in the comments. Let me know uh, what you guys think I should do. So I'm not really sure. It's kind of a weird deal. Yeah, let me know in the comments, guys. Uh, these repair attempts are not always successful, so we're going to have to... <laughs> we're 
we're gonna have to figure out what's going on with this let me know in the comments if you think you know what's going on thanks for watching guys thanks for watching guys i'll keep you posted i'll let you know if i figure it out see you later bye, -bye.